Hi, so I'm here with astronaut Megan MacArthur, who um, has a long history of being friends and coworkers with Karen Nyberg. Thanks for joining us to talk a little bit more about this uh, special lady that we have in space. Sure. Um, why don't you tell us a little bit about when you first met Karen and how that friendship developed? Well, Karen and I were hired together in the class of 2000 astronaut candidates. So Karen was actually pretty much the first person I met when I stepped off the plane in Houston. Uh, we were going together with another one of our classmates, Drew Foistel, to a training event in Florida that we had to get done before uh, the rest of the astronaut candidates showed up. So really, we've been friends uh, from that point, from the first moment that I, that I set foot in Houston. And um, it's, been a, it's been a great adventure together. We've done a lot of training and, and been through a lot of uh, life challenges together. She was, um, my house flooded about three weeks before I was supposed to launch in space in 2008. And she was right there with me helping sort through, through the debris with some of our other good friends. So, you know, you can't say better than that. She's been a, a very good friend to me uh, for the 13 years that we've been together at NASA. I think there's always a special bond with people that were your classmates, right. you know, from arriving at NASA. Um, so tell us a little bit about Karen. What is she like on this friend level? Uh, Karen is a great friend. Like I said, she's been she's really been there for me through a lot of things, uh, both in training and in and in life. And um, she's a lot of fun. She has a great sense of humor. Um, she's a big runner, of course. Everybody that knows Karen knows that about her. And so she even got me running a little bit uh, with her in the in especially in the early days. Um, she's very dedicated um, to her career, and, um, and she also has a lot of very interesting hobbies, which I've uh, learned about her over the years. Yeah. So tell us a little bit. I think we're all starting to learn and see some of her her handy work, some of her sewing and things that she's sharing on Pinterest and Twitter, but when did you start to see that side of her? Well, when I had been here for a couple of weeks, she invited me over to her house. Karen lived in Houston already. She'd already been working for NASA when we started in the astronaut program. And so she invited me over to her house. And as I was walking up to the door, I hear this beautiful piano concerto pouring, you know, off the stereo. And I thought, wow, you know, she really likes classical music. And then I ring the doorbell and the music suddenly cuts off. And she opened the door and I realized she was actually playing the piano. <laughs> it was this beautiful music um, as I was walking up to the house. So that was sort of my first clue. And then you see the paintings that she has in her home and, and you ask about them and you find out that she's actually done them. Um, she sews some of her own clothing. Um, she really just has this broad spectrum of talents, creative talents that are um, very well developed, not just dabbling. I mean, there's something, she's very, you know, very detail oriented. Um, and you see that in all of the things that she does. Wow, so a perfectionist through and through on absolutely, everything. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. So that you know, sort of mirrors the technical side. Um, she's very uh, accomplished in engineering, um, which also requires a really detail-oriented mindset. And then she's very accomplished in all of her creative hobbies as well. So I see that as kind of the reflection of each other. That's one thing that I think is interesting is that um, some of us would make this assumption that if you're a technical, um, person working in a technical field or you've got a technical background, in this case engineering, that you wouldn't have this this other side that's considered more creative, but really even with some of these creative hobbies that she has, there are technical aspects. I'm learning more and more about the quilting and that's actually a lot of math involved right. in geometry and technical. So what would you say to, to people who might make that assumption? Well, I think they definitely are complementary. Like you said, there's a lot of technical aspects in the type of craft work that she does, very detail oriented. Um, and in addition to which, you know, problem solving, even in an engineering sense, can be very creative. And so having that creative mindset is, um, is very helpful for, for even technical problem solving. So I think that they're very complementary and not that surprising. We have a number of people, uh, I think, in the astronaut office that have similar type of um, complementary skills. So you touched on a little bit of that you've seen some of the beautiful things that she's done, and I know I've seen a, a few photos. Can you tell us about some of the, the gifts or items that you've seen or received from Karen? Absolutely. Um, as a wedding gift, she gave me this beautiful hand-painted tray um, and in fact, she wasn't at the party when I received the gift, so I initially thought that she had purchased it somewhere, and I wondered where she had found it. And um, you know, when I finally spoke to her and, and thanked her for it, she started making some apologies for it that it wasn't absolutely perfect, and I, I didn't quite understand until I realized she had actually painted it and, and finished it herself. And of course, it's completely perfect, and, uh, and only Karen's eye could find any, any blemish in it. It's a beautiful uh, tray with a, a painting of a flower and a ladybug. Our class nickname is the Bugs, and so you know we would joke that the three women in our class were the three ladybugs, and so it was this beautiful painting that has a lot of meaning for our friendship as well as, as just being a beautiful work of art for my home, so it's something I really treasure. Wow. Well, thank you so much for sharing some of this background with us. I think um, we're all very fortunate to have Karen on board, willing to share this side and using her creative talents to kind of help her share her experience. So thanks so much for um, opening up and sharing a little more insight into uh, Karen and your friendship
relationship with her. Absolutely. So, thanks, thanks for having me. me.